what up youtube how's everyone doing you are watching the phantom your gaming world so today again i'm back with another episode of rdr2 let's get started Wow. So we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. Well then, let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. All right. So, this is it, guys, for, you know, they have been for a while in here and bloody winters they are leaving the place for good what a music Look at the environment now. Lenny! Micah, get over here! Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. <laughs> me? With the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. All right. Everything is real beautiful in this game. Wow. Okay, we gotta ride this carbon. But let me just show you the ways. Don't stop, stay with the others. Wait a minute. You know, I always feel that the game should be much more cinematic than just a gameplay so that every age group can do enjoy the game. I won't be rushing up, I won't be, you know, chasing everything up. I'll be doing things quietly and, you know, a lot more than stable. What the... Keep us moving, but oh shit. Ah, shit. <laughs> the tire okay. has broken. Let's take a look. You all right back there? Does everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right. <laughs> Let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold Pick the up the up wheel. The wheel okay. You still strong enough to hold up? Rolling. Shut up. I'm just saying. Don't say less. But on everything is so real. <laughs> okay, bash the wheel. Nearly there. there. Done. See? You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. What? Taking out the wrench. Whoa. Look at that. Look at those three men up the hill. What do you think? If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. 
Not too bad. Keeping the things in the car one. And let's just head over. Maybe I should first, you know. They're all waiting on us, Arthur. Obviously, I know. Let me just show you the scenery, man. How can I miss this stuff? Look. The beautiful waterfall. And the hills all around. Amazing, man. Okay. Let us Come go on. now. We've wasted enough time already. Yeah, I know. It's okay to waste some time, you know. Can we just get there? If we can look at some tremendous That's stuff. Right Stay on this trail. We'll go the to river, Horseshoe in Overlook. Let it, man. It's not the our Indians stuff. In these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country. They lost it all. Stole them clean away from them, it was. Every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. What happened? How's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. Go on. Why are we so far behind? I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? <laughs> we don't. In spite of that, just talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. Look at this vegetation. Man. Hey, don't blame it on me. On the animals Never roaming forget. here and there. This here's a con man, Squirrels, birds, just cause it deer. Fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking oh, about. We'll be passing through this bridge. So, what happened to your trap? No. I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did, but when we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. Man. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. It's a real routine, heartbreaking moment. I just took off on my own. That was about the age when the mother is captured. Maybe and a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait. I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. Uh, <laughs> we still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we plan? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls, our kind of place. The Driscolls? Look at the squirrel. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait, what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? <laughs> Just look Just, at the place. You know. Maybe it's me who's changed, not wow. him, but we kept telling him that fairy job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Alright, let's go a bit Way faster now. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. It's a long journey though. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so well, I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot. And maybe I won't be wrong. skipping any of the parts. What are you working on there anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. 
Okay. Is uh, you know you can have all this. squishing some sorts of plants and making eyes, medicines out of it. Okay. Thank you. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Man, these cutscenes, you know, occur at the time we are not ready. Come on. Okay. Let us go a bit faster. Come on. It isn't a, you know, a, an official road. It is just a pathway made by these kind of buggies and car ones. <laughs> Look at those peacocks. Okay, who is he? Is he Dutch? No, he's a uh, maybe a member Any trouble getting in here? of our car one. Nope. It went well. This is a good spot. Okay, to the right. Excellent. I think this will work for us either. Maybe we are residing now, anyway. in here. Not, not much far now. Almost here. Amazing view. I hope you guys are enjoying with me. I'm not the guy who will be, you know, rushing up everywhere. Hitting here and there, you know, like like here everyone do. Home sweet home. Wow. This is the camp. <laughs> Here comes the Dutch. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. Yeah. Now, now it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all <laughs> made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one of us. But I kept us together, kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck east of the Grizzlies and out of money. And a long way from our dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother. But we are safe. We make a bit of money here. Then we move again. Head no. out around them. Be west of Uncle Sam. In a few months, buy some land. I hope so. Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen, the place I'm is beautiful and it's the local fun. town and uh, you know. That is true. See if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, <laughs> everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know. Dutch is a way better leader. Tough, I've seen. But we are safe now. And we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. <laughs> Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Dutch doesn't want this old man to interfere in his talks. Uncle, 
Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all well mud and done. morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Okay, so we gotta donate some well, of the amounts and the things we collect. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. And we put, you over put here. it in that box. Sure everything will be fine, Miss Green. In order to, you know, most of your stuff from uh, got saved. make everything some food uh, oh, and mind. other valuable, uh, you know, other me. resources. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with Sleep, shave, change clothes or probably. store weapons in the weapon locker at your tent. Okay, so in here we can shave, uh, we can sleep, we can change our clothes. As we all know, Horseshoe Overlook, Chapter 2. Wow. A couple of weeks later. Man, man. Got off the mountain, rode east into some pretty enough country called the Heartlands. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier. Yeah. In spite of black water and that whole mess. Right there. Jose. <sighs> With some sort of a tea. Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. <laughs> okay. So it's a hot weather right now. And there are so many things in, you know, this camp. I gotta explore it first. Look. Oh, Dutch. Arthur, my boy. My dear boy. What's going on? Nothing. Nothing at all. For the first time in weeks. Nothing. <laughs> We're free. We're free to plan our own futures once more. I hope so, Dutch. You kept the faith, Arthur. You always kept it. And I ain't losing it now. Okay. So, maybe let us shave ourselves first. Our beard is grown real, real very much. Let me just quickly do all the stuff. Okay, so we have shaved her beard. It's a pretty, you know, real game, actually. Our beard grows and hair grows by the time. Let us explore some more. What is this? Who is it? Maybe it's it's some other and this one. I don't know, man. Okay, let us uh, change our clothes. Okay, so maybe they are good in these automated clothes. Yeah, we gotta, you know, change the outfits according to the weather. If it is hot, we gotta wear 
the clothes which are uh, you know worn in um summers as it will affect our health so much that we'll be regretting it later on if we won't change it and so as the winters if there are you know chill weathers and chill winters we got to change up to the woolen all right let us explore some more what is the the this symbol of a bullet i guess let us move further who's this guy is it <laughs> got you there tough guy just name the place my friend is my guy this just name the place <laughs> <laughs> he's laughing man just have a look at this place look at the Morning, this lady enjoying the view sitting nearby everything looks so real look the silence in here is something something i wish i had in my life okay let us move towards i don't know i'll be you know exploring each and everything right now and the camp so i get used to everything there is very much in here important people mr morgan everyone has their portraits donate and craft thing upgrades Arthur, don't forget i'm more than happy to craft you something if you bring me the right materials okay so you know this guy can craft us the things we need or uh, maybe you know these are the this is the list of the things he can craft for us but we got to donate him some stuff like wood and you know fabric kind of something like fur of the animals wow he can craft everything it is sort of you know we have to decorate our camp first Thanks, all right please. let us move on again this is the dutch camp okay let us have something to eat now wow i guess there is chicken curry in it man just look at him okay we'll be going there later on let us put something wow press rt to eat come on where is rt okay so our health is replenished you're arthur right my name ain't no concern of yours <laughs> i'm hungry so guys do uh do you remember him the guy tied with the tree okay you seem like a decent fellow man is the guy uh you know we we kidnapped from the mountains he has some sort of information and he would be giving us soon as we are keeping him hungry dutch has said to do so i don't feel like you know keeping him hungry i i do want to feed him up Okay so this one is the box i was telling we can donate some stuff like um uh, some money or valuable things like watch so let me just donate some of them okay so we have donated these items
let us see what we can do next in here this is our tent here we are doing our stuff at first it was so damn cold and now it is i guess real hot because they are all residing in open These girls are crafting some sort of sweaters or the clothes. So what are these, man? Pick up. Okay, these are the sack. Take sack to the Pearson wagon. Okay, so we gotta take these to the um, Pearson. Okay. Let me take one. Honor and character attributes can increase the in daily. Okay. These are the small kind of works we can do uh, to keep others happy in order to attain their, um, what do we say, in order to attain honor and trust. It makes us a good man in the game. Look the ways chopping the stuff. Okay, where to keep it? Thank you, Arthur. Okay, in here. Hello. Let me just move faster now. Okay, let me just take one more sack. He was saying that be careful so that you don't hurt your back. Oh, man just gave us the information. I'll, you know, make you feed. I'm not a bad guy. Let us head to the mission now. Who is he? Uncle. Awake. <laughs> Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, Fighting to try to survive. You get to think all day. Yeah, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Hey, you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out. Oh, sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses already. <sighs> you gonna take the old man into town? You take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them <laughs> a robin. and you're worried about house chores. Let's go. Okay. Fair enough. You got me. Come on. So we are... <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. We are going to a like town yeah. nearby Valentine. called <laughs> Valentine. <laughs> civilization. Ladies are going to love it. So okay, these yeah. girls wanted us Let's to join. Go. Means, uh, right. I'm sorry. Here, these girls wanted uh, themselves to join us. So we let them in inside the wagon. Okay. Let us just get out of this area. To the left. <laughs> ah, 
Oh no. That man said don't ride here. Maybe I heard it wrong. <laughs> Look, there is a buggy over there. Holy crap! <laughs> Man, just look at it. These horses is one of you gonna get that gone disattached. Let us just check it out. Maybe I'll be helping him. Oh hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? Of course. Let me. Sure, no problem. Okay, calm the escape towers. Look at this railway track. Over there is the horse. Man, just look at it. Oh, amazing. The horse is in traumatic condition. Let me just. Hey boy. Whoa, easy. Whoa, now, easy, easy. I love this mission, man. It's a quiet, sober type. There. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Come on, let me take you to the owner. Okay. Here is your horse. Here you go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. <laughs> no, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> impress the women. <laughs> well, they said he was just Come trying to impress time. them. <laughs> Amazing. You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to be? Right, make? let us head to the... A small one, perhaps. Valentine. Inside, but a real one? And you haven't, your pulse of old lizard. Lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you not hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> oh man, just have a look at the train. A beautiful train. Let us be careful in here. Man, just look at it. Right, let us just cross here. Damn you. Get moving. Smell those sheep. <laughs> or is that uncle? <laughs> so it's sort of a a this small like town. A decent little town. Yeah, it's a Other decent people. little town. Finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. <laughs> you think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Okay. Take a good look. Look at the hustle and bustle in here. We got here. People standing around. Staring at us. Okay, it's a saloon to our right. Look at the men standing in the balcony. So much. Look at all this wet land, man. So muddy. So oh, damn muddy. <laughs> Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just okay, remember, let's move. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Well, 
Well, let's park up down the end there, near the stables. Look at this. Come on. All right. All right. Here we are, just like I said, the cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at its finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're going to do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble. Don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see. So we are here for, uh, you know, normal routine work in order to... So that's how you see yourself, Maybe buy some goods maniac. and earn oh, yeah. some bucks. In my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. Man, you know, I can why. smell this area. <laughs> you are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Yeah. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. <laughs> I lied. Ringworm. Then rats with the plague. Then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. All right. Morning. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey so it's start. a kind of a shop and we gotta you know buy ahead. some items for a bit tired there, for the camp let me take this out on the shelves, but I got right more out back. And this on can shelf. help yes, us gain some health and our stamina I'll be taking it okay now what? What more? New speeches. We gotta uh, you buy a coffee, as Uncle said. Okay, here's the one. So, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? It's for a hundred dollars. Okay, if you're done, I'll meet you outside. I won't be too long. Okay. So we have bought a uh, coffee and um what was the thing? Okay. Well, look at this. A jaw harp. What is this list of yours? I got a lot to replenish after that god awful time in the mountains. All done. Thank you kindly. Ah, this should do the trick. Yep, that's fine whiskey. That should do us. Let's go wait for them outside. Okay, so All the Uncle fun. has bought some whiskey for him. Oh, here's to your good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house, acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. A train full of rich tourists heading to San Dene and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out near New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh, Where's Tilly and Karen? I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was going to rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. All right. So <laughs> she's talking about there. the girls. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. Let us go and check what is up to. You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me. Get off of me. Come on, man. Leave her. 
Get your hands off mm. her, friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. <laughs> or what exactly? You want to find out? You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with Go you. Go away right. with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Come on. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Search the hotel for Karen. Okay, Karen is also missing. Got me sweating buttons. Can I help you, sir? Yeah, I want to search your hotel. Let me just see. You looking for a room? Yeah, exactly. Sir. <laughs> Come on. The room's locked. What is doing, man? Can I help you, sir? No. <laughs> Wrong room. No harm done. Okay. Let me just see. Search the drawers. If we could find something valuable. <sighs> Nothing. Join me. I'm a Chelonian. Have you read our book? No, I was just leaving. Again. Okay. Let's get out. Please don't bother the other guests, sir. What then? Sir? No trouble now, please. Man, this music. Oh, I'm sorry. sorry. Wrong room. <laughs> He's sitting inside his room only. There's not a separate toilet or something. Kick the door. Okay. You like that, huh? Okay. This is the room. 2B. We gotta kick it. Man, what is doing? A friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. Ain't paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here. I paid. Uh, hey. I paid for nothing. What have you paid for, man? What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him. Not very well. <laughs> you okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. There's. Nothing to worry about. The just blood in man. her lip. But stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. Bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. Okay. Lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. The spinster. I can see blood. blood. Warning in our uh, lips. Okay up there? Yeah, exactly. Everything's okay. Just mind your own business. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. <laughs> you okay? Sure. He only punched me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. <sighs> All right, then. <laughs> hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get! I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. Man, go that guy. The guy I knew was that. Just no, he was saying we are from yeah. Blackwaters. We gotta take him out. Man. Holy shit. Holy shit. Come on. Oh my 
Holy crap. He's riding really fast. Okay, there he is. Deal with the man. Okay. Well, let us just see what is up to. You have to help me. All right. Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now, please help me up. Okay. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. <laughs> now please pull me up. Please. So we have the option to either, you know, I'm kill sorry. him or save him. I choose maybe. Yeah, I please. choose to help him. All right, come on. Come on. You okay, partner? No. Okay. No, so saving uh, a man would be, you know, raising our honor. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. Here is that. Jimmy Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh, here, you want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. <laughs> hmm. That's so he gave us a pen. But I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? <laughs> I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding? Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. <laughs> I haven't. I haven't. Not, not one lick. Not one sense. In this year old man. Okay, run away from here. Come on, come on. You have a nice day now, sir. Yeah. Let me just show you the view. A nice, pretty view. Have a look. Isn't it amazing, man? Let us hop back on our horse to the Valentine and let us return the horse to the rightful owner. Okay, here we have got some sort of plant. Let us investigate it, examine it actually. What am I saying? Okay, so there's some sort of a plant we can. It is a wild carrot. So this is it for today guys, if you did enjoy the gameplay, do hit that like button and if you haven't subscribed, subscribe me and I'll be getting you more videos of Alia 2 and other games including Grand Theft Auto 4 and 5. I'll definitely see you in the next one. Bye.
Mister? 